Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You are highly welcome to Shito's Mathematics Coaching Program. Before the commencement of today's lecture, I urge every one of you to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit on the bell to get the notifications anytime I drop my videos. Look. So we want to be looking at derivative of cos s by first principle. So now if you want to solve this one now, so what do you do? So we follow by firstly, that is y equals to you let cos x to be y that is let y equals to what equals to cos what cos x so if y equals to cos x so now from by the definition of what the, by definition of first principle so we have what we have dy dx equals to limit of dx tends to zero f of x plus theta x minus f of x over theta x so this is what this is the first principle definition you understand that so now we are now asked to look for the derivative of cos x therefore our y is cos x so what do we do so definitely we are going to have dy dx will be equals to limit dx tends to zero limit of dx tends to zero that data x tends to zero will be cos x plus data x according to what we have it minus cos what cos x all over data x are you getting it so now from here so the next thing we are going to do is to try to expand the numerator. Understand? We expand the numerator for that. So using uh, using uh, cos uh, that is addition formula. That is, if you have cos x plus delta x. So now by addition formula. You can see that cos x plus delta x will be equals to cos x. That is addition formula in trick. So cos x cos delta x minus sine x sine what sine delta x. So that. This is what this is giving using what using the addition formula. So now we are now going to employ this result into this equation. Understand? Let me call this equation start. So from here, what do we have? We have d dx limit dx tends to zero. Are you following? Then look at this. Cos x plus delta x is what we have here. So you plugged in this, we have cos x, cos theta x, understand? Cos theta x minus sine x, sine theta x minus cos what? Cos x, then divided by dx. Are you getting it? So now from here, so what's the next thing to do here? The next thing to do, we have ds divided by ds will be limits of delta x tends to zero. So we try to bring this. That is, we have cos x cos delta s, okay, minus cos x minus sine x sine theta x i get it divided by dx so what did i just do here so what so now from here what's the next thing to do so let's see we have dy dx equals to limit dx tends to zero so now what we are going to do here is, is i want to bring out the common factor from these terms that is the first and the second so we have 
cause s to be the common factor. So from there, I have cos theta s, can you see, divided by the x. So it's like I want to split from here. I want to split it into two. So we have this. Can you see that? Minus sine x sine theta x divided by what? The x. Can you see what I'm doing? You can see what I did is that I tried to separate this. Oh, sorry. This one will be minus 1. Yes, this one will be minus 1 because when I take out this, you understand? So it will remain 1 here. So I have this. So now, now using the fact, that's it. By using the fact, anytime you have this, cos theta s minus 1 divided by theta s. So this will actually give us what? Give us 0. And also, if you have limit, dx tends to 0 sine theta x over theta x. So this will give us what? It will give us 1. So now what I'm trying to use here is that you can see that from what we have here, so we have something as in, in common, that is something equal or something the same as what we have here. Are you getting this? So, and you can see that we have limits, the x tends to 0 at the, at the what's it called, outside here. So now what's the next thing to do? So now the x we are having here is just what is just simple. You understand? At the same time, it is uh, what's it called, it's doing variable. So let's say you can have cos 2x over 2x, that is cos 2x minus 1 over 2x, we actually give us what? 0. You understand? Because these, these are the same thing. Because this is ds, ds. So they are the same thing. So same thing applicable to what we have here. Eh? So now we are now going to use the idea. So this can actually be dy dx equals to because this is what is the x tends to zero. So we can actually call this cos x as what as constants. Bring it out like this. Then we use this one to open the right half limit dx tends to zero cos theta x minus 1 over what? theta x. The same thing to so this other side. So we have what? We have, let's say sine x is constant. We take sine x as constant here. Yeah? Then limit dx tends to 0 sine theta x over what? Over theta x. Can you see that? So immediately you just apply the, what? the result that we have there. Yeah? So using the result that we have here, you can see cos theta s minus 1 divided by theta s equals to 0. So we have cos x. So this will give us what? This will give me 0. Then minus sine x. That is limit the s tends to 0 sine ds. So that ds will give me what? Will give me 1. So what do I have? We have dy ds equals to this. So now from here, what's the next thing to do? So we have my result will be 0. This one will be 0 minus sine x so sine x times one we have minus sine x so which is the solution to the problem given to us understand so the same process the same procedure goes with the function sine x if you have your function to be sine x and you are asked to derive it or to find the derivative by the print by the first principle so these are how we are going to use understand this is how you are going to do about that so you try as much as possible the uh, what's it called? The knowledge of addition formula is known to you, and you should as well know these facts, the two facts we use, because we are going to use them also in solving for sine x. You understand? So, that is that about today's lecture. If you have any question concerning what I just did, kindly hit on the comment box, ask your questions, and I promise I give you the uh, possible answer to that. So, you have a wonderful day and take good care of yourself.